show your support like and subscribe hey guys what's going on all right so my name is jason and this is my hot shot life uh today must be video day i must say that right off the bat i've done three videos already and we're working on this fourth one right now and this is going to be an answer the question video i'm going to answer a question for a guy by the name of will who i believe is 18 years old and looking to get into the business and for anybody who already knows this business, uh, knows anything about trucking and licensing, you already know that you can't get your CDL until you're 21 years old. Uh, so for anyone who is looking to get into the business and is not 21 yet, um, I am very sorry. Uh, I hope the you know I hope and I wish the best for you. But let me go ahead and tell you how you can get started with this without needing that CDL. And I want to let everybody know right now, disclaimer. I'm against making this video because I have a very big business mindset and running non-CDL if you have the opportunity to get a CDL is 100% against what I stand for. But I do like small business. I do like people who are entrepreneurs. I like people who get out there and do things. And I like 18 year olds who take their life in their own hands and really, really run with it. And guys, if you're 18, 19 years old and you're looking to do something like this and start a business. I support you more than anything in this video I'm making is specifically for you guys because um, I hey I'm gonna tell you right now I love the fact that you're looking to get into this um, I love your mindset let's go ahead and talk we're gonna start on a different slide we're gonna go over to the truck and talk about how you get into this business all right guys so anybody getting into this business of course wants the biggest and bestest the newest stuff everybody wants the big 22 and 25 GN trailers that can pull, you know, 25 to 30,000 pounds, whatever it might be. Everybody has that big Tonka truck semi dream. But let's go ahead and be realistic. The guys who are watching this video, more importantly, are looking to do this as a non CDL driver. And to be realistic, we need to start with the truck and then we'll look at the trailer afterwards. I am recommending for you, and this is if I was building this setup for me, if I was running non CDL the 2018 Ram 2500. I recommend that whatever you have, because I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, I've got a 2500, you know, I've got an F250, it's a 2013, it's a 2012, it's a 1999. Well, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't care what you have. I want you to take that trailer, or sorry, I want you to take that truck over to your dealership and trade that thing in as soon as possible Go get yourself into something that is going to run because you're going to need it in this business. Get yourself something that has warranties and is not going to break down on you because you don't want to be stuck in the same situation I was in in episode three where your vehicle breaks down, you're unable to get the maintenance taken care of on it, and you have to buy a new truck, but you're now looking at probably 8000 less trade-in value. So... Take that thing over, go trade it in right now for a Ram 2500. And let me go ahead and tell you why I chose the Ram 2500 and why I would pick this one for me. It's simple and easy, guys. It has, it is very lightweight and it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds and a max tow capacity of 17,980 pounds. Being that it weighs 10,000 pounds, that easily frees you up for 16,001 pounds left on your non-CDL license. And this truck couldn't be more phenomenal. It doesn't weigh that much. If you would get the crew cab, that's cool. Go ahead, get into it. You can see the one here in the picture. You can get it for, I believe, let's, let's actually scroll down really quick. Uh, where's my cursor? There it is. Let's scroll down. This one here, the Tradesman model, which has absolutely nothing, starts at 33,000. Um, honestly, guys, if you were to put your truck down and let's say you had a $5,000 put in, you're at $28,000 before taxes and stuff. You're probably looking at a good five something, maybe six something a month. Um, and that's if you've got a moderately okay credit, you're looking in the 10 to 15% range. I think that'd be pretty realistic for this. So that's where I'm looking there. These are the different models that they have. You can, you know, check out ramtrucks.com for that. This is the truck that I would go with though. Let's go ahead and move over to our trailer. We have 16,001 pounds left. Let's find a trailer that's going to be suitable for our needs. 
as running non-CDL. All right, guys, speaking in terms of trailers, you got to keep it small, but not too small. You got to keep it light, but not too light. What we're looking at right now is the 14 GN class. And if you're not looking to get a big text, you're looking to go into a uh, maybe a PJ, a Diamond C, uh, maybe a Load Trail. One of the other companies, make sure you're in this 14 GN class. And this 14 GN class is going to be looking at these ratings right here. This trailer, let me zoom up right here and come over to the side, has not eight tires, but four tires. You're looking at not the tandem dually like I have, you're looking at a tandem single, which means that you have four tires on here, not eight. You do still have, I believe on this one, 7,000 pound axles. Um, but we can get into that in a little bit. We're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna look at the gross vehicle weight rating. And like I said, with your truck being at 10,000 pounds, you have 16,001 pounds left and you are literally saving 101 pounds on getting this specific trailer. Me, I do take loads that are over 30 feet long very, very easily. So getting a 25 foot, a 27 foot and a 30 foot are not in my scope. I would go with the biggest one here. I would go with the 30, 33 foot. It's 28 feet of deck space. That's gonna be this all the way back. And then you're looking at the five feet of space for mega ramp and these of course fold out and go down to the ground. Uh, the mega ramps are fantastic. I've used mine a few times, but I do say that they're good. <sighs> Sorry guys, I've been doing way too many videos today. Anyways. Your max payload for that is going to be uh, 10,320 pounds up to 11,120 pounds. Will this 800 pound difference between these really be that much when you can add on an extra uh, eight to, I don't know, you can probably get this up to a 35 or 36 foot, depending on which company you go with and uh, how much their trailer weighs, how much their coupler holds. Depending on everything else, uh, will depend on that, but is really uh, this 800 pounds here really worth losing it, the space here? I don't think so. I would go with the 33 foot and be able to load a max of 10,000 pounds. All right, so going with this truck and going with this trailer, you're most likely going to be in the 9,500 uh, pound range when it comes to searching for your loads. I'd go ahead and filter on your load boards for 10,000 pounds, but I wouldn't take anything over 9,500 just to be safe. Uh, if you do remember in one of my first videos that I put out in the My Hot or My Hot Shot Life series, um, I did do a load from Oregon, uh, from Portland, Oregon down to Phoenix. It was a thing of water barriers. I was originally told that it weighed 2,700 pounds and we came to scale at just under 10,000 pounds. So you got to remember that the broker doesn't always know what the real what real <laughs> real weight is. Guys, I've been doing that a little bit lately. Anyways, the broker doesn't always know everything on the load. You expect them to, but they don't. Uh, so when it comes to filtering for your loads, don't push anything over 9,500 pounds on this. That will leave you in a really good position to maybe grab uh, a partial that weighs 6,000 pounds and another partial that maybe weighs 25, 3,000 pounds. Uh, and then you'd be able to up your rate there. And we'll talk about compounding um, your partials to get a higher rate. We'll talk about that in another video later on. But for right now, that is the setup that I would go with if I was running non-CDL. And I do say that very, very hev heavily hearted, uh, heavy hearted, whatever you want to say. Um, I'm not too happy about making this video specifically because um, you got to remember you don't want to limit yourself in business. If you're in the position though to where you're 18, 19, 20 years old and you can't get a CDL, but you're looking, wow, but you're looking to get into this business and do stuff, this is the setup that I would go with. But if you are over the age of 21, you do not need to be in this setup uh, unless, you know, finances just aren't working out for you. Uh, you can make every excuse out there for me. I don't care to listen to it. If you're over the age of 21, you need to have a CDL and you need to be working and doing this right because you are limiting yourself and your potential and your value has gone down and diminished completely to the bottom of the totem pole if you are running non-CDL. But... I support 
and I really mean this straight out, I support small business, I support entrepreneurship, and I support an 18-year-old who wants to go out and start a goddamn trucking company and get out there and put in the work and start moving. I support the hell out of that. More than you ever know, because at 18 years old, I was like, I'm working at Subway. I was I was a manager at Subway. I thought I was the coolest freaking thing on the damn block. But I wouldn't shit. That's it. I'm going to be blunt with you. I wasn't anything. And it it's sad that I had that mindset back then. And even coming out of the Marines when I was 21 years old, I still had somewhat of that mindset. And it wasn't until I was 25, I really started to get the business mind and really focus things down. And now I'm in the position where I'm in, where I've got all these sticky notes of all kinds of different things I need to get taken care of. I've got this whole list of stuff up here on the board that I need to get taken care of. And business is booming for me. The fact that you are 18 years old and ready to start a trucking company and get moving and get yourself out there on the road, man, I, I respect every step of that. This gentleman who asked this question, Will, lives here in Florida. And you know what? I think I might want to go pay him a visit and go have a sit down talk with him and help him figure out how he can best be suited to get into this business. And you know what? I might even want to hire Will. Uh, If he gets his own equipment, I might even want to go ahead and uh, contract him on. (laughs) He is so business minded and he reminds me of me at 25 but I wish I was him when I was 18. That's all I can say to that man. I respect you. Um, going forward though. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you right now. I've got more videos, so I don't know when this one will be posted. Hopefully in the next uh, day or two. With that said, my name is Jason Clark and this has been my Hot Shot life. And I will, as always, see you guys on the next one. I'll see y'all later. Bye.